Hello racers and welcome to today's video. In today's video we are going to take a look at the Yeah Racing Aluminum Chassis Setup Kit. This is a little kit for 127th and 128th scale cars, so very small scale cars. I ended up buying this little kit as I was looking for different tools I could use to tune my 112th pan car. And I got this little kit and I thought I'd show you what what uh, you get with the little kit and some of the tools you get and how to use the little tools to give you some ideas. Now the first thing I'd like to show you is the little camber gauge it comes with and how you use a little camber gauge, I'll just push these things up a little bit, is on your scale car you just put uh, use the gauge you can uh, set the camber for 0 0.5 degree, 1 degree, 1.5 and 2 and just put it on your flat surface on your setup board and when your tires installed on your car you just put it up against it and if you see it leaning out you just adjust the camber to lean it in or if you see it out at the bottom I'm exaggerating then you adjust the camber to bring it in it's so on the bottom shows you the degree and if you're doing the left side of the car you do it flip it one way the right side of the car you flip it the other pretty nice little light piece of aluminum that's the camber gauge uh, the thing that I was kind of most interested in was the little droop blocks now a typical 12th or 10th scale tuning system has a 10 millimeter droop block these are about 5 millimeter see 4.97 and how you would use these little droop blocks is you clean off your surface and you just place them and I'm going to put my pan car on it to show you how it works here we go here, I'll move these out of the way and we'll put it up a little high so we can see there so they're set so with the pan car set there it'll be five millimeters off the your surface because they're five millimeter blocks and then Here's an example of the little droop gauge. It has a little ride height setting. So you can, you know, slide it under and you can see the little markings, a little graduation there to let you know how high it is. Since it's five millimeters, it goes right to the, the top. So that there is the ride height gauge. Another little gauge they have here is what they call a droop gauge. And in this case, you can see there's a zero mark in the middle and that zero mark is five millimeters the same as the blocks it goes with about four nine something and what you do in that case is anything that is drooping lower than ride height you simply slide that under and you can see that it'll say whether it's above or below that five millimeter mark and it is graduated in tenths of millimeters so this is a very fine fine step there are actual steps that you can feel so in my case i would slide it under my rear pod because my on a 12 scale the rear pod droops and you can slide it under and you can see that mine you can slide it under until it stops at the 0.5 so my pod is 0.6 of a millimeter lower than the main chassis. So I have, it's almost a millimeter of droop in the back. So that's how you'd use this little guy to test things that are drooping, like a rear pod or something. And then the last thing that this can do, you can see that there's markings on the side of the ride height gauge. One side is negative. And one side is positive and if you look at the camera you can see it's almost bent like a very slight hockey stick and in this case what you would do and I'm not sure that I can show you on my 12th because it's quite a bit bigger than the scale it's made for but what you would do is you would set your chassis on it and things that droop down like suspension parts or like the little uh, front suspension knuckle you would slide it under and see how far that was drooping down either above the chassis you can see it's marked on the plus side 
or below the chassis if you flipped it over. And then you can you can do some adjustments there, put in some shims or whatever, and raise or lower axles. Or um, if some some things have droop screws that you can adjust to raise and lower things. So that's what the, that's what's on the side of the ride height gauge. I typically don't use this in if I'm ever using um, measuring droop that way. What I'll use is my caliper, and I just use the end of it. And I'll measure from the axle. Let's see if you can see. I would do it like this and measure from the axle down to the, the thing and then read read what it would say. That's the way that I would do that. But some people uh, prefer you know, to use a fixed block, slide it under, and measure where it touches on this little gauge. So there we go. We took a look. You get two 5mm droop blocks to hold your car up. You get a ride height gauge with some droop gauges on the side of that. And you get a droop block, which shows you plus or minus from the five millimeter ride height. And also the camber gauge. So if you like this type of thing, click like. If you wanna see some more of these, click subscribe. And if you have any other questions or comments, put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. This was the Air uh, Racing Setup Kit. We'll see you in the next one.